But for me, programming and when I looked at what I found interesting out of, and we had hardware and you build your 8086 and you do all the, you mm -hmm. know. Uh, yeah, it was fun, but what I realized is that the software is what actually makes this thing do anything. And when that clicked for me and you can do anything with it, I knew I wanted to do a software focus. I like the hardware, so that's why I did uh, actually dual degreed um, and things. And I just knew that if I stayed with software, I would always have a job. And I had an interesting upbringing with my parents that um, facilitated that wanting to always have a job. And I just knew that it would be fun, it would be, it was very creative in a different kind of way. I think people look at engineers and they don't think we're very creative people. Um, but it, you can do and make almost anything happen and, you know, and the, the stuff that I've done at the different companies and that I've been able to do, um, that was kind of the spark when I, when I realized that I could do anything with software, that then I made my path of what I wanted. People were talking about majors, and a guy said, oh, I'm electrical, and he was a senior, and everyone went, oh, gross. And I said, why is that gross? And they go, oh, well, that's the hardest. And I go, well, that's what I'll do, because I literally figured if I had a double-E degree, I'd always have a job, much like you. Um, and it was very math-based, I knew I was good at math, and that's, my dad was an electrical engineer, and he was happy, so that's how I chose. <laughs> I know it's lame, but you know it's you. You make these split decisions when you're. In the yeah, room. that's like picking up a magazine and going, "Oh, superconductors." Yeah, those sound cool. Yeah. When I started looking for careers, I realized that the coursework applied to many different industries, and that's then how I found Intel. Was seeing that the background that I had in chemistry, the background that I had in physics, the background that I had in engineering created enough competency around problem solving with some domain expertise that then I can go work on not superconductors, but semiconductors. <laughs> oh.